so it's been reviewed that the reason Fiorina doesn't have the Hydro sign in her official art is because. Oh, and this is a spoiler for those who don't want to know so it's best to not listen. She literally in 4.2, will lose her title as Hydro Archon. Also, Nervilet will regain his memories of bring a powerful dragon deity from the past, so I feel he will become the new power in Fontaine. Also, Fiorina will get a second drip marketing like Liney and Lynette, and this is it. Her gameplay model will be changed, her hair shortened, and white clothing changed black. It's also revealed by the Harbinger, Father, that when she met Nervilet and Fiorina, she couldn't tell which is the Archon. Both seemed off. In her own words, Arlecchino I used to drink tea with Fiorina twice. Have to say, Fontaine's leadership is more complicated than I thought. At first I guessed Nervilet was a Mercury, until today it doesn't feel much the same. The player how did she assume? Arlecchino I follow Queen Tsaritsa and know what a god would look like. Nervilet or Fiorina was missing something. It's hard to imagine that one of them is gods. Arlecchino it's just my feelings. Sometimes the feeling is without reason. Arlecchino is a person who does intelligence work, I suddenly realize I cannot distinguish who the god in my hometown is, what a nice feeling. It's also believed that Nervilet is the one who keeps the Gnosis, and that the reason Fiorina loses her title has the Hydro Archon is because she will sacrifice it to save Fontaine. Anyway, there is also a theory similar to the Electro Archon and Dendro Archon where there are two phases of Fiorina. One who is the celebrity but not the Archon, and the darker version of her who is the real Archon. Still, that is a theory. Anyway, stay up to date to learn more about the story. Subscribe and enjoy.